Hey guys, today we're talking bad boys. But not Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, although that would be super fun too. No, today we're talking bad boys versus nice guys. What attracts a woman to a guy who has an enormous ego, breaks the rules, doesn't give a damn what she thinks, and treats her like hot garbage? If you've been the nice guy pursuing a woman who ended up picking a bad boy over you, you know the frustration. Especially if you have qualities that many women look for in a long-term relationship. Thoughtfulness, kindness, and intelligence, along with a great career and financial stability. On the surface, it doesn't make sense, right? Especially when thinking about how evolution has shaped humanity. Why would a woman choose someone who is clearly not a good choice for their long-term future? Shouldn't this quality have been weeded out of our gene pool a long time ago? Unfortunately for nice guys, bad boys have several evolutionary forces working for them that make them appear more attractive to women, at least in the short term. We'll talk about what those are, but we'll also talk about how nice guys can fight back, turn the tables, and use those evolutionary forces to their advantage. Number 1. Bad boys exude masculine qualities like dominance, assertiveness, and confidence. This is one of the evolutionary factors working in the favor of the bad boys. Masculine qualities have helped our species survive the struggle against nature and tribes of predatory humans. Masculine traits help men hunt, provide food and shelter, and protect their families from wild animals and raiders. From an evolutionary perspective, women's attraction to men who are socially dominant makes sense. In the grand scheme of 300,000 years of human evolution, the Dark Ages were basically yesterday. A socially dominant masculine man is more likely to provide safety and security from a horde of Viking raiders, even if he is an asshat. While the thoughtful poet who sings you love songs is probably going to end up in the belly of a mountain lion. While women may not consciously be thinking about this, a bad boy who exudes masculinity can subconsciously make them feel safe and protected. And experience and research tells us that women love confident guys. Number 2. Bad boys are exciting. While stability and thoughtfulness can be nice, they can also be friggin' boring. This is another evolutionary factor that favors the bad boys. An article published in Psychology Today discusses how novel, risky, and exciting experiences shaped human evolution. While risk-taking might be dangerous, it is also important to human survival. If humans didn't have the courage to advance into the unknown, explore new territory, and try new things, they might not have found new mates, created innovations like modern farming and medicine, populated the globe, and survived as a species. During new and exciting experiences, the brain releases more dopamine and less norepinephrine. These hits of pleasure-inducing chemicals drive humans to seek out novel, exciting experiences. Bad boys bring a lot of unpredictability, which can be exciting. And let's be honest, what's going to give you a bigger hit of dopamine? Flying down the road on the back of a motorcycle without a helmet? Or listening to some dude go on and on about how he scored a low mortgage rate? Which goes hand in hand with our next point. Number 3. Increasing human lifespans and short-term thinking. In 1900, the average human life expectancy was 32 years old. In 2023, it was 73. People who lived in the 1800s didn't have the luxury of short-term thinking. They had to very quickly find a way to support themselves, find a suitable mate, and raise their children before they died. Today, with average lifespans in the 70s and the invention of birth control, women have the option to seek out fun, excitement, and enjoy the short term. When women choose a bad boy, they usually know it's not going to be a long-term relationship. They can act on raw, magnetic attraction and have a fling, knowing that they have plenty of time in the future to find someone more stable to settle down with. And with the invention of birth control, women don't have to risk having a baby with a douchebag. One of my best female friends provides a great example. In college, she had a long-term relationship with a nice, stable guy. But when she graduated, she realized that she didn't want stable and boring. She wanted fun and adventure. So she broke up with her long-term boyfriend and started going out to the clubs and bars four to five nights a week. She bounced from bad boy to bad boy, and most of them were complete jerks. When I asked her what she saw in those guys, she would just shrug and say, I'm not going to marry them, I'm just having fun. Once she had the partying out of her system, she got back together with her college boyfriend. They got married, had a son, and are still together today. The bad boys won in the short term, but the nice guy won in the end. Number 4. Conquering a bad boy can boost self-esteem Think about the bad boys we see in the media and film. John Travolta as Danny Zuko in Greece. Harrison Ford as Han Solo. Christian Bale as Bruce Wayne slash Batman. Sean Connery as James Bond. Patrick Swayze as Johnny in Dirty Dancing. James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause. They're depicted as the epitome of cool. They're sexy, slick, attractive, confident, mysterious, and unattainable. They know exactly who they are and don't care what anyone else thinks. They do whatever they want, whenever they want, 
and the female character who was able to tame or snag them becomes the heroine of the movie. Landing the bad boy can make women feel like the heroine of their own story. It can boost their reputation, confidence, and self-esteem, and fulfills a need for validation. Unfortunately, for nice guys, the media we consume often romanticizes toxic relationships. Landing a nice guy doesn't make for a great movie plot. Number 5. Upbringing and Childhood Trauma Now for all the women watching, we want to be clear that this is the case with only a small minority of women, but some women pursue bad boys due to their upbringing and childhood trauma. Women who had an absent, abusive, or emotionally unavailable father can end up struggling in their adult relationships with men. They might date bad boys with the same qualities their father displayed growing up. A study published in the National Institutes of Health found that women who were abused in childhood were more likely to be in abusive relationships as an adult. Okay, so with all that in mind, what's a nice guy to do? Does he have to sit around and wait for women to get the bad boys out of their system? Does he have to change his personality and pretend to be someone he's not? Absolutely not. Nice guys can have great success with dating. Here are a few tips that will help. Number one, work on developing your confidence and assertiveness. As we discussed earlier, women are attracted to confident, assertive men. While some guys naturally possess confidence and assertiveness, these qualities can also be learned. Think about all the different skills you've developed throughout your life, in your academic career, professional career, in sports, and in your hobbies. These are no different. It just takes active work and practice. We have a bunch of videos on our channel to help you develop your confidence and assertiveness. You also don't have to be a jerk or change your personality to have confidence. You can still be yourself. And while women appreciate thoughtful gestures, they aren't attracted to lap dogs. Respect yourself and practice setting boundaries. Also, having a great job and successful career are other factors that can build your confidence. If that's something you're working on, then I suggest checking out our partner, Course Careers, in the description below. They have an amazing system that can help you land your first job make a career change, or get promoted. They even have courses that can help you land a job in a new field, even if you don't have a degree. If that sounds helpful, check out their link in the description below. Number two, plan fun and exciting dates. Like we discussed earlier, evolution has shaped humans to look for novel, risky, and exciting experiences. When you score a first date, don't do something predictable like dinner in a movie. Plan something interesting and fun. I once took a date axe throwing, and we had a blast. Nothing gets your adrenaline and dopamine pumping like whipping a sharp, dangerous weapon across the room and hitting the bullseye. Plus, it was much easier to get to know each other in a fun, informal setting instead of sitting in a stuffy restaurant. So don't be boring. Do something fun and exciting together, and women will associate the dopamine hits with you. Number three, own who you are. Understanding who you are and owning it are attractive qualities. If you don't have traditionally masculine activities and hobbies that exude a bad boy vibe, that's fine. Maybe you're more quiet and reserved and enjoy reading a good book. You know who likes reading books? Women. Maybe you like sci-fi and fantasy, Comic-Con, and Star Trek conventions. You know who else attends those events? Well, I just looked up the stats. 44% of people at Comic-Con are women, and 49% of people at Star Trek conventions are women. Those are pretty fantastic odds. When you know who you are and you own it, it exudes confidence. And when you pursue your hobbies and passions, you'll find women who share those same interests, and it gives you common ground to work from. And even if the person you're dating isn't into the same stuff, they'll appreciate that you know who you are as a person and are true to yourself. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, drop us a line in the comments, hit the like button, and subscribe for future videos. For the ladies watching, let us know how we did. Did we nail the reasons you're attracted to bad boys, or did we miss something? What's your advice for the nice guys in the audience? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.